Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager, here once again with another video on Arrow Season 7. And this is going to be my trailer breakdown for the extended trailer for Episode 10 for this season, otherwise entitled, My Name is Amiko Queen. But of course, before we get into anything else, let's actually watch that trailer. I'd like to take this opportunity to assure the people of Star City that I have learned from my mistakes. My mission has always been serve this city. Some husbands bring their wives home flowers. But mine brings me blood from a crime scene. There are people who don't agree with my methods. But you can't save a city alone. And I will no longer be hiding in the shadows. We're fighting evil that most people don't even know exist. No, no, no. What the hell are you doing? It's a little something I've been working on. to always be on the side of the law. Arrow returns with an all-new episode this Monday at 8, 7 central on The CW. So Arrow is back in just a few days, which is, of course, very exciting. And the trailer we got right there was mainly for episode 10, I guess, the mid-season premiere, which we will see in a few days. But it also contains some stuff from episode 11 as well. It might have had some episode 12 stuff in it as well. I have no idea, but episode 12 is actually, um, I think it is at least, the 150th episode for Arrow. I think, uh, yeah, I'm 99% sure it is. So I feel like they wouldn't have shown anything from that episode in this trailer, as I'm pretty sure we are going to be getting some, uh, you know, surprises in a milestone episode like that. But you never know, there, you know, there could have been like a shot or two from that episode in this trailer as well. Now, throughout my breakdown, though, I will try my best to point out what episode each part is from, or at least specific parts are from. Now, before we get into the actual breakdown, we will quickly go over the synopsis for at least episode 10 and 11, which are featured in this uh, trailer. But of course, let me know in the comments section down below what part in this extended trailer made you go like, wow, I cannot wait to see that happen. Let me know all of that in the comments section down below. And of course, if uh, you're going to enjoy the video and just want to show your support, be sure to drop a like on it to show your support. So yeah, this is the synopsis for episode 10. Oliver is ready to get back to work with the SCPD and to focus on his marriage with Felicity. However, when Dinah tasks Oliver with tracking the new Green Arrow, things take a surprising turn. Meanwhile, Diggle and Lila must answer to Argus about Diaz. And here is the synopsis for episode 11, otherwise entitled Past Sins. The past comes back to haunt both Oliver and Laurel. Curtis is upset when he discovers that Diggle and Lila have restarted the Ghost Initiative with Diaz, China White, Kane Wolfman, and Carrie Cutter. Now we start off the trailer by seeing Oliver and Laurel being interviewed and taking part in like some form of like news or current affairs program. You do hear Oliver going on about past mistakes or, you know, to fit in with the title for episode 11, Past Sins. And yet, yeah, as I basically just said then, this is from episode 11. And Oliver is just going like over his aims as Green Arrow and that he always intended to be on the right side of the law, even if people's like still disagree with how he goes about his nocturnal activities. Now you might be wondering why is Laurel also there? Well, everyone thinks this is Earth 1 Laurel. We know this is Earth 2 Laurel, but you know, everyone else thinks it's Earth 1 Laurel. And everyone knows that their Laurel from this Earth was Black Canary. There was a goddamn statue even put up where, uh, with her, which was then also screamed down by this Earth 2 Laurel for memory. Anyway, so I'm going to assume that this whole interview is just about vigilantes and their effect on the city and whether it is, you know, done in an overall positive way or overall negative. We do see Laurel take on some dude in an alley at, at one point in the trailer as well. And I'm hoping to see this Earth 2 Laurel get into some like kick-ass street stuff in this back half. She's been basically like uh, DA Laurel for the whole first half of the season, apart from an episode or two. She was cool in those episodes, but for the most part, she's been DA Laurel. So I wouldn't mind seeing some more kick-ass Laurel in this back half. And also, I'm pretty sure we see the guy that was interviewing Oliver and Laurel get like dropped into a net while he is tied up by some rope. I think it is at him. Uh, I think it is him at least. So it will be interesting to see how he gets into that predicament. In regards to Oliver, like we saw in episode eight, we see him back out in Star City, suited up, but without his mask, of course. However, there is a few shots of him with the hood on. I think this is just for stunt double purposes, which I can understand. I would rather they have the hood up for stunt parts and just you know at least close up stunt parts 
rather than have someone that really doesn't resemble Stephen Amell that much doing hoodless stunts and sort of taking you out of the moment. A lot of people did point that uh, point that out in episode eight in the hallway scene. You could tell in certain parts it wasn't Stephen Amell and just sort of took people out of the moment. So I'm all for the hood bit with close up stunts. I think most of the shots with him in the suit will be from episode 11, maybe 12 as well, as episode 10 seems like Amiko will be the only one rocking the suit, but who knows, we might get a bit of Oliver uh, walking around, or maybe not walking, jogging around at least, the, uh, the streets of Star City suited up without his mask. But Oliver is obviously now attached to the SCPD and works out of their offices now, I guess you would say. And I am sort of interested what you guys have to say about this prospect. Like, do you think Oliver will last the season attached to the SCPD? Or do you think there will be a clash in opinion and just the way they go about things, which may cause Oliver to go, well, rogue from the SCPD? Just let me know in the comment section down below. I'm fine with him working out of the SCPD. I've said that before. It just seems like the logical next step, especially with how the story was laid out and progressed. But I know some people aren't the biggest fans of it. It just seems a bit out of place but for me it works with how the story went there is some oliver and felicity in the trailer just some like extra stuff from what we saw in the initial trailer for this episode where we had felicity like testing the dna from a blood sample that oliver uh you know brought to her that he found on a shattered glass from a crime scene now from what we can gather oliver would just learn that the new green arrow is a female in episode 10 i'm not too sure if we will be seeing amika revealed to him yet in this episode I would personally like if they left that reveal until maybe episode 12, seeing that is the 150th episode. That seems like it would be the right time, just the perfect time and place to reveal something like that. Felicity also talks about something that she has been working on. Obviously, there is literally like no context or clue as to what she could or couldn't be referring to. I would like to think it's just a snazzy new little gadget or piece of tech for Oliver to use when he is out and about. Uh, or it could just be, you know, a new computer uh, program to break down DNA really quickly. Have to wait and see, I guess. Obviously, we just referred to Emiko earlier, and she does get a few shots in this trailer. Seems a bit weird. You know, the trailer was called My Name is Emiko Queen Extended Trailer, and there's hardly any of her in the trailer, but anyway. So there's just a couple of shots of her kicking some ass and shooting some arrows into thugs, like we've seen in some of the, of the other uh, promos for this episode, as well as just jumping through windows like any good vigilante would. And we, of course, see her working with Renee or Wild Dog, who is back in his season five suit again, which I very much like. I did. I did. I was okay with the season six suit. I thought it was a good upgrade, but come on. Comic accuracy is comic accuracy. Sometimes you just, you just need that cool comic book suit, and, and that's like the best version of it. I am really interested to see how they handle Amiko in this back half and how she could potentially tie into the bigger picture as to what is going on this season. My guess is that she might actually know a lot of information that would be vital to what Oliver and others are doing this season. And of course, it will be interesting to see, or at least hear, her backstory and what happened to her and what drove her to suiting up. And the last thing of note to talk about from the trailer is a few good shots of the new team of villains coming out of Argus, that being the Ghost Initiative. Now, this is just the Suicide Squad, but of course the show can't use that title anymore. We do actually get a shot of specifically Diaz, uh, Joe Wilson, and I think uh, you know Cupid or Carrie Cutter knocked out in Argus and strapped down as well. And Curtis is like looking at scans of their brains. So I wonder if they are getting like implants of bombs or like a little explosive device, or if this is like a scan for another reason. It wouldn't surprise me if, if we saw them get like tasers or like a shocking device of some sort implanted rather than a bomb. So maybe instead of killing them by exploding, it might knock them out and make them unconscious. So they're not just killing off, you know, you know, assets of theirs, but who knows what direction they will go. But speaking of that ghost initiative, it seems they get loose as we do see China White fighting some guards in the middle of the Argus HQ as well as Diaz, you know, throwing them through windows and stuff. And I think we also see, I'm pretty sure it's Diaz again, hurl Curtis of all people into a black van. This ghost initiative is more like the Suicide Squad than the previous two iterations we had on the show where like, you know, because all the members this time are like all around are liabilities, like they're extreme liabilities. The other times there was Deadshot who, while a villain, was still pretty like level-headed. And also Bronze Tiger had like a, you know, decent morals uh, the first time around in I think it was season two. But this time around in season seven, all four members of this Ghost Initiative are just Looney Tunes. So who knows 
what shenanigans they're going to get up to. But yeah, guys, that's basically all to talk about from this trailer, because um, we'd seen actually a decent amount of it already, but it was cool to see some of the other stuff, you know, maybe with Oliver and Laurel as well, some of that ghost initiative stuff as well. But if you enjoyed the video, it would be awesome if you could drop a like and it shows show support. Let me know in the comment section down below what part from the trailer got you excited. Do you disagree with any of my opinions or do you have anything to add from what I said in this video? Let me know all of that in the comment section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.